Hi, this is Carl Dreschel. Today I'm going to show you how you can use GSX Monitor and GSX Analyzer to monitor, manage, measure, and analyze your SharePoint, Exchange, Blackberry, or Lotus environments. If you have uh, Lotus as your mail system or if you're using that for legacy applications, things like that, um, we, can, we can monitor that. Alright, today we're going to focus on SharePoint specifically how you can use our tools to increase control, um, allowing you to better ensure the quality user experience, um, reduce costs, uh, targeting you know specific areas so you can perform corrective action on them before they become too much of an issue, and also use this product to measure against your set SLAs. This way you can forecast potential performance and capacity concerns before they get out of control. Okay. This, uh, this video here is the first video of three. In this video, we're going to get a general overview of what GSX Monitor and, and Analyzer will do. Uh, we're going to review the main, main page and, and, and what we've got from user interface, and uh, just look at some basic monitoring features with that. In the second video, we're going to look at advanced monitoring. Uh, we're going to go into some user modeling so we can get an idea of what the user experience is, and we're going to look at some SharePoint performance statistics. Finally, in the third video, we're going to go a little bit more in depth with uh, super, uh, server and performance statistics. We're going to look at reporting and trending, give you an idea of, of where you're going and, and how the usage is, as well as, uh, like we discussed before, the SLA management. Uh, give you an idea of how you're performing against your, you know, your SLA and, and which uh, key performance in indicators are impacting that. All right, with that, let's get into Monitor. Okay, this is the uh, GSX Monitor main view. Uh, the main view here, it's a, a good way to get a, a quick visual representation of what's going on in the environment. So if you want to present this view to, you know, um, you know, operators in the NOC or perhaps an administrator will have it open in a second, you know, a, a second uh, screen maybe at their desk. Um, like I said, just to get a quick idea of what's going on in the environment. All right, so in, in the main view, we're going to present, you know, the overall status of your entire messaging and collaboration environment. Whether that be you know mobility here with uh, BlackBerry, um, you know your Bez servers, clusters, uh, Traveler, Domino, as we mentioned, we do that as well. Um, or if it's your know, collaboration with SharePoint, uh, your mail environment, whether that be Exchange or Domino, and um, we do also do URL and port monitoring. So if you wanted to you know ensure your website was up and running, you could check that here, uh, see what the response time is for it, and also um, we can do port monitoring as well. Okay, so what does it all mean here? Well, you see we've got these uh, different colored LEDs as we call them, and these are going to be really the thing that's giving you the idea of what's going on in your environment. Obviously green is good, red is bad, yellow means there's some type of a warning. Okay, um, And these things are fully customizable, so if we, if we right click on, on one of our servers here, we can go to the main view properties, open it up, and you'll see for each each category, each type, so Exchange, SharePoint, Domino, things like that, you can set what these things mean. So, again, you know, SharePoint's up, it's green. Uh, SharePoint down, it's it's red. Um, and then, of course, you know, different things for your logs, disk space, things like that. If you're monitoring disk space, it's going to be represented by a half LED, and that will change uh, again, as you see here. Okay. As I was saying, we do the SharePoint monitoring, and uh, let's take a look now at some of the things we're looking at here for SharePoint. In this case, the basic monitoring is you know, whether the server is up and available, um, and meaning is the server running, and is it accessible uh, throughout the network. Um, we're also going to take a look at our, our log scanning. So if you mouse over here, you can see that we're looking at critical and not critical errors, and that's fully customizable once we get into server settings in the next video. And then finally, we're going to look at the state of the uh, the SQL Server. So the connection, um, if the, you know, if that's up and available, and the uh, SQL Mirror, if 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 applicable. Uh, that overall is how you know the the main view of GSX Monitor functions, whether it be Exchange, um, you know, BlackBerry, and of course Domino. The general idea is that it's a it's a quick place to get an idea of what's going on with your environment. So with that. Uh, let's take a look now at what the next videos are going to hold.
In the second video, we're going to be looking at monitoring a little bit more in depth some of the advanced features. We're also going to take a look at user modeling, um, what the user experience is, and, and how we configure things to take a look at that. And then finally, we're going to look at some of the performance statistics, how SharePoint is actually performing uh, from a user perspective. In the third video, we're going to go further in depth on uh, server and performance statistics, specifically how we can look at those specifics for reporting and, and trending. Um, and then finally, we're going to look at SLA management. So how are we holding up? How are we you know, servicing the users? And are we meeting our agreement? OK, thank you very much for uh, joining me for these videos. Uh, we'll see you for videos two and three.